Hey friends and welcome back. Sorry for the little pause at the beginning if I left it in or not. This is the final battle. And I went the wrong way. Yeah, this one's pretty standard. Um, this one is probably the easiest. And um, you're probably thinking, wait, it's the final boss battle of the game. Why is it not harder? Well, basically, it just sits there while you shoot it. And to be honest, it has no real offensive attack, uh, which is a bit disappointing for the last mission of the game, but the last part of the game. So, you know, there have been spoilers throughout the whole of this, so who cares? Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, it just sort of sits there while you just shoot at it. And you're constantly getting thermal energy because you're standing in thermal energy. Admittedly, it doesn't give you as much as you think it would. But... Um... Yeah, you just, you just basically, yes, yeah, so this is it. You just shoot it. It does have an offensive attack. I put, yeah, that. It's, oh, hoo oh, hoo. Oh. Okay, friend, if I lied, it does have a pretty offensive attack. Not offensive, offensive. So you shoot at that thing, the, the, it starts going all crusty. And when that goes crusty, you can put the GPS on and then that's the end of it, really. I will drop this though, because it is not doing jack crap. I'll pick this one up and say. It's a bit different to last time I played it. Maybe they updated the game, I don't know. I don't know. I played it ages ago. Come on. I really wish I had a like a, a weapon, a proper good weapon. Oh, there was there's one. I'll grab it in a sec as soon as I do this tower. Okay, data post two activated. We'll pick up this uh, plasma launcher, the plasma cannon. Sorry, it's not the best plasma cannon. There is a plasma cannon SP, which is so much better. Okay, it's gone all crusty now, so we can put the GPS on it. And there we go. That's pretty much it. That is literally the game, right there. The last, the last boss, last boss. Oh whoa! I committed suicide. I got way too close. I forgot that was a thing that happened. Uh, yeah. There you go. That is it. That is literally the fastest episode. It took three minutes to do. Literally, all you had to do was just whittle it down, and I basically did nothing. So, yes. We will, uh... In the campaign, it's a bit more difficult. In rush mode, it's not. In the campaign, you, like, uh... Get a whole cinematic thing going on. But, yeah. That was pretty... Look, look. That's pretty much it. Nothing... Nothing, uh... Compared to my previous times, I did the first one faster, I did the second one slower, the, se the third one slower, the fourth one slower, the fifth one faster, and the sixth one slower. I believe. Not what that, what that means, or it's the other way around, so. Let's open the boxes, what did I get? 3,600. You know, since this was a short episode, game cleared. Total, I got a B rank. So I'll show you all the customization shaz. Um, so we'll head back out and then we'll head to uh, see L6PD. Send me a message if you want to do anything, play games, chat, have a beer. <laughs> Not have a beer. I don't drink alcohol unless it's cider. So yeah, look, I've got character parts 100%, weapons 100%, emotes 100%, abilities 100%. I haven't got all the names. Uh, they're basic because mine mine's old uh, unknown super soldier that says right there. Uh, so I had customization hit um, the title. They're basically just titles. <coughs> you get like so much just junk. Like yeah, look, here we go. You just there's so much. There's so many. I don't know how to get all of them, and I'm not gonna go for all of them. I'm not gonna show them all. 
You can choose different characters. I was using, I believe, a pirate. Was it the pirates? Yeah, the snow pirate elites. You get... I mean, look, you can see I haven't even used these femme fatales. Um, this is my favorite one, I believe. Nevik. Uh, Nevik Black Ops. So, yeah. I haven't touched these people yet. The femme fatales. I've used the rest of them, though. If I turn the campaign mode off, well, there's no difference. But yeah, we'll, we'll use the the space snow pirates to show you off all the all the webs, all the web webs. So yeah, this is the weapon I'm currently using. It's the Mark II machine gun. This is the slot machine. So you know, I have five hundred thousand credits now. So you can put in a password, but nothing interesting happens. So I don't. I've used them all. So yeah, this is the first one. This is the this is the original. And we've got machine gun two. One minute. Oh my god. Let me just use a preset. Oh yeah, the uh... We'll go with Frank West. Oh no, we won't. We'll go with... Yeah, the, the Snow Pirate Elites get these cool looking things. But I'll, I'll, I'll just choose this guy. He wears sunglasses. So, yeah. Machine Gun 2, we have the Energy Gun, which is basically a tap. There you go, that's me tapping. And you can hold it down to, you know, charge. But it does use your thermal energy, so. It's used at your own discretion, because once you run out of thermal energy, you cannot fire this gun. Next you have the gun sword, which is a slow firing weapon, which reminds me of the bar, which I love. But also, if you don't do anything, because um, obviously I can't push B, because it sends me back, but... There you go. It lives up to its name. Then we have machine gun SP, which is the special version, which is a burst fire gun. Extremely accurate, though. Then we have energy gun SP. Which, when charged, gives off a love heart, which is so freaking weird. And we have Gunsword SP as well. There's no Gunsword 2, so if you obviously do, do the same thing as the Gunsword, so we'll let it. And then we go back to the machine gun. So I'm gonna just equip the, uh, the Gunsword SP. Alright, so we have. Also, we'll go for the shotgun. So we have shotgun. It's just a shotgun. We have shotgun too. A lot more powerful. We have revolver. We have the flamethrower. Which I don't use because it's pointless. And the shotgun SP, which is what I was using before. Fires confetti. Which I love. Then we have a gold revolver. Which is the special revolver. We have the ac acrid launcher, which is just stupid. I don't know why you would use this gun. And we're back to the shotgun. Well, you know, I'll choose everything SP, so... So, we're gonna head to the... So, this is the original rifle of the game. If you... This, obviously... Just skip all of this nonsense if you... I'll put an annotation up, so skip all this nonsense if you don't wanna... Anyway, so this is rifle. Very standard. Rifle 2, which is like a burst fire one, I guess. We have the plasma gun. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, we have the plasma gun 2, which charges up. We have the rifle SP, which is what I was using. Which is just, it just, it just sounds awesome. Awesome, and the effects just of this firing this gun is just awesome. Just, just look. You just feel like if you had that in real life, you just go back like five miles. You have the gold rifle, which is nothing special really. It's just golden. Same as that, the same as the first. And then this one, which has no zoom, but is just like a basically just like a standard gun, but with 
rapid fire. Which I'm going to use from now on. Right, so we have... Oh, so many more webs to go. We have rocket launcher. Rocket launcher 2. Hand cannon. Plasma cannon. Rocket launcher SP. Hand cannon SP. Plasma cannon SP. Rocket launcher again. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna keep it simple. And go <laughs> plasma cannon SP because this thing is OP. So now we have the support devices. You can't really see what this does, but it makes you invisible. You saw in the first episode. Uh, these are shields, which basically just shield you. Injection gun, which gives your enemies uh, thermal energy without having to sac sacrifice yours. I believe. Or this one may be thermal energy and this one may be health. I'm not quite sure which one's which. This one... I don't know what this does. I think this has a protective shield or some of some description. Um, the, the yeah, these shields just have different camos. And if you you can do a special attack with them, which is that. But I use this because it turns me invisible. Now the grenades. I'm not gonna go for all the grenades. There are so many, but I'll show you my ones I use, which is the Buster grenade. Whoa. Powerful. Chameleon grenades. Um, which are invisible. Shurikens. Which uh, bounce all over the floor. Firecrackers, which are just funny. You can't really see it there, but... It's a firecracker. And regen grenades. For health regen when I'm low on health and I haven't got my TN... I haven't got much thermal energy. So yes, I'd like to thank you for watching this episode. And I will see you when I see you. Bye.